All right, Shalom, Shalom, Rastafari. This is going to be a continuation of Jah's people destined to reign. But, however, we must have the knowledge of the Bain Ha Elohim. The knowledge of the Bain Ha Elohim. So this is going to be the continuation of the first part. And that we have to recognize that we are destined to reign. We are destined to rule. But we have to, first of all, get the instruction. First of all, we have the initiation of the whole rebirth, the born again. One has to be born again. What does being born again mean? Being born again means starting fresh. How do we start fresh? Well, there's the gospel. There's the Wengel. There's the good news. So it's so important for us to, one, first of all, know it for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We have to know it for ourselves. We have to know the truth for ourselves. Yeshua, Hamoshia says, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Whom the Son, the world, has freed is free indeed. So we have to first of all get our, our spiritual house, our inner man. You know what I'm saying? In the inner sense. You know what I'm saying? We have to get our inner sense restored to us. You know what I'm saying? In this world of sin, in this world of destruction, this world of confusion. So the first birth, of course, we know is our physical birth, that we are born, you know, physically. Unless you got here some other way or whatnot, not through physical birth, well, you know, that's that right there. But, but then with reality, we know that the first birth is a, is a, is a, is a physical birth. You know what I'm saying? But we're born into this world of sin. As I've explained to some brothers and sisters in, in other um, teachings and discussions and, 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 and reasonings that when we hear the word sin because of the, 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 the counterfeit um, uh, Christianity, sometimes sin is always made to be, it's a caricature, but it's not according to the word. And I like to say this, even though some people say this is, this is not how you should preach because you're using bad words or using cuss words or whatever like that. So they'll say, don't use cuss words. But see, you don't use the words that people are overstand it in. You know what I'm saying? And we're saying this by grace, that to be sinful or to be a sinner is like when we say it's fucked up. You know? See, when you hear that word, something is effed up. Even a lot of folks who don't normally use those words in the certain given situations, they will express it that way, that this is effed up. You understand? Now, you see that force that comes behind that word, effed up, and how it seems to be a clarity when you hear someone say something is effed up. I mean, even, even the way they say it, when we say, this is effed up, you're, you're like in Rastafari or Patois, among the Benjamites, it's like where they say, I'm like folly, but you can say that's fuckery. You understand? And, and there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a force behind it that, that embeds in that word. But the word so-called sin, you understand, in the Christological or Christianity sense, has been so watered down and so falsely um, um, dealt with, or, or, or so, so mishandled, the word of God has been mishandled, you understand, so long that when even we are coming forward, the first thing folks are thinking about is like, wait, okay, that's like what the church says, or what I've, I've picked up in whatever um, denomination or denomination that they may have through to get to this point in time right here. But let us deal with this right here, um, that we as Jah's people, right, are destined to reign. It's not just I and I that say so. It is Jah's word. That is, it is God's word that says so. You understand? From actually beginning to end. In fact, the whole, the whole uh, fall of man, according to the Kibber and the Guest, the Queen of Sheba and only son Minulik, was because of the enmity, you understand, to say because of the hatred because of the hate of Satan, the hate of Diablos, because of the devil's hate against man. See, a lot of folks believe that, well, you know, God and the devil are like in, like somehow they are equal. They are not equal. You understand? Some people believe that, well, the devil is fighting against God. 
The scriptures doesn't teach that the devil is fighting against God. The devil, the devil is in rebellion to God's ordinance, which has made man a ruler of the earth. You know what I'm saying? You know, with the black man, we're speaking about Adam, lost his rulership to Satan. That's the whole point of the story, right? The first Adam, you know what I'm saying, lost his rulership. And it's the second Adam, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach, who has restored that rulership for those who come to him and through him, because all authority in heaven and earth has been given to him. You see, now, well, well, if that's so, then why are we still in this situation? Have you received? Have you received it? Have you received the love of the truth? Or do you want to twist the truth the way you want to get it? You, you know what I'm saying? And that's been the world's problem, and especially we as the lost sheep of the Beta Israel the so-called black sheep of the family, that in particular has been our problem or our failing. Even in the earlier reason, we went to Romans chapter 10. And it speaks about Hawadi Apollos is saying that he bears, he bears his people, the Beta Israel record, that they have a zeal. They are zealous. They are passionate for God, or they have a zeal of God pertaining to God, but it is not according to what? It is not according to knowledge. That's what we say about we are destined to reign, but if we do not get the instruction, you know what I'm saying, we do not get the instruction, then we cannot deal with the construction or the building. So we're not building up, and what we're dealing with is destruction, or we're dealing with obstruction, all of it in ignorance, and ignorance is the first thing that was effed up, is the original sin, ignorance. You know, so once you have, and you have a love of the truth, and you seek, he says, ask, you know saying, it shall be given, seek, and ye shall find, knock, and the door shall be open. Now, Christ, Yeshua, he's using physical types. Like he said, he said, if, if, if I tell you earthly things, you know, earthly things, temporal things, and you do not uh, understand it, if you cannot comprehend the earthly examples, how are you to be able to receive the heavenly things? So the earthly things are a type, you understand, even when we speak about rebirth, if we study the process of birth, you understand? There's the womb, right? There's the seed, you understand? And the seed and the womb, right? And there's a growth process. You understand? And then there's like coming forward. So even when the baby is born, there's still that nurturing time. That's what the church, the true church, is supposed to be. And we're not talking about the building. As His Imperial Majesty teaches us, and once again, we're going to refer to this mini book right here, you understand, concerning the good news of the King of Kings and his Christ, right? We're going to touch on this for a moment just to remind us, you understand, because we have to really rework the truth in our heads and our hearts because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. In other words, what we hear, if we always hear that we ain't, we ain't this, we ain't that, you know, all the negativity that we've heard. We've heard that, you know, nothing good can come out of Africa, just like the, the Hebrews in the first century, they believed that some of them at least who were into that um, form of uh, religiosity of the time, and it's not Judaism, but it's all the isms and schism like Phariseeism, Sadduceeism, zealotry, zealousism, you know, like we have our so-called black supremacists. And, and there's a point there that they are correct. But at a certain point, you have to humble, you understand, or you, you're going astray from his will. So it's left up to you. And it says that those who don't receive a love of the truth, Jah sends on them strong delusion so they will believe a lie. Do we want that? No, my brothers and sisters, we do not want that. So here in the, in the what, what we know as the Lutheran interview, um, Dr. Hoffman asks his imperial majesty, Kadamawi Haile Shalase. Haile Selassie first asks him, Your Imperial Majesty, as a member, as a member of the body of Christ, what do you expect of the church? 
well, we could always go into a reason and say, well, he's a member of the body. So which member, what part of the body? It's the head. It's the ras, right? But he, he's asked, what do you expect of the church? Let's hear and listen with our spiritual ear, with our inner man. You understand? Iritically, spiritually, to the answer of his imperial majesty, Haile Selassie I. He says, the church is not merely a building. The church is the faithful fulfillment of the Christian or the Christian life and its requirements. Thus, as the name applies to the buildings, so is our heart, the church in which God dwells. After our blameless creator was sent to this world by his father, by his Abba, then the hearts of all believers or the mitmanon, those who admit, who trust in the truth, become the temple of God. The love of God cannot be fathomed by a series of questions and answers. And man's soul cannot experience deeper enrichment as a result. We believe, or nominalin, naamen, that men at all times be bound by his love and grace. And then uh, another question by Dr. Hoffman. He says, Your Imperial Majesty, as a member of the body of Christ, what do you feel you can contribute to the church? His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie I, his answer, all men are endowed with natural responsibility. This responsibility is in turn distributed and delegated to all according to his gift. And it is expected of each one to fulfill his responsibility. This responsibility in turn is to God. And thus, for example, and would start his work asking God, asking Jah to bless the beginning and thank Jah for a good ending to. We believe in nominal and we trust, we admit, we have faith that all people in all of their responsibilities delegated to them will begin and finish their work in God's name, in Jah's name. I gave you brief answer. If we go into detail, we would have to spend a long time discussing. And just to show you just a part of Hoffman who said, and Hoffman, um, Oswald Hoffman, he replies at this point, it is a magnificent answer, and I am deeply grateful for it. And then he turns to another particular um, subject matter, which is also very important as some foundational, dealing with the Bible. And um, because of this, the importance of job people, we are destined to reign. It's important that we get a groundation and a foundation, because it's too much groundless you understand, um, misbehavior in the name of his majesty going forward out there. And it's not to point to the next one. It's really to look in yourself. If you're in ignorance of these things, then you bear part of that blame. But now that we know the truth, we can, through the Holy Spirit, do better. Right? So he says, to turn to another subject, your imperial majesty, are there any passages of the Bible that you have become, that have become especially meaningful to you? His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie I, his answer, I have the highest respect for the Bible as a whole. We also recognize the rightful name the Bible bears. Now, I just have the pause right here because the rightful name that the Bible bears, because if you read on, if you're familiar with this, he really doesn't you know, explain what that rightful name is, but he says that we recognize the rightful name is the Metzahav Kedus. Can you see that? The Book of the Seven Seals, the Metzahav Kedus, right? And now why is that important? Revelation 5.5. 5. We're going to get to there, but Revelation 5.5. 5. So, so write that down as a note. We're going to touch on that to prove this particular teaching for Jah's people, that we are destined to reign. But the key, what is that key? The key is the knowledge of the Son 
of God. He said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Whom the Son has freed is free indeed. You see, it's really not the Father's responsibility for that because he has sent his Son. And the only way we can get to the Father, you understand, no man can get to the Abba except through the Son, Yeshua HaMushiach, and his Imperial Majesty, Kedemawi Hala Selassie, affirms that word. So this is like the first word that every true Rastafari, first of all, have to get that groundation and foundation on. Don't murmur, don't grumble, you understand. Pray for grace. You understand that he will give that grace and that strength. You understand because we are saved by grace through faith. It is the what? The gift of God. And further on it says so that no man can boast. You understand? Even what I and I know, I cannot really rightfully boast of it. You understand? It is, it is the gift of God through faith. So it's according to your faith. You know what I'm saying? It's according to that faith. Now, we've been touching on faith, our main, so forth and so on. So those who might not, you know, might not have that background, it's important to understand that word in its proper context. You know what I'm saying? True and faithful witness, trust, faith. The word at the kindergarten level is be naive or believe. You know what I'm saying? But he says study and show yourself approved to God. As a workman, it need not be ashamed. So if they're still wrestling over the word believe, be like Eve, it's obvious that they're not studying, you understand, because the Bible was not written or revealed in King James English. It was translated into that. So we have to get to the root and the truth, you understand, of the matter. So the Matthew says that I have the highest respect for the Bible as a whole. Can you say the same thing, Rastafari, brother, sister? Can you truly say the same thing? We also, and it's if you can, if you recognize in your soul, repent, have a change of mind. Recognize my bad. You know what I'm saying? Have a change of mind. Pray to the Father in the name of Yeshua for that grace. You know what I'm We also recognize the rightful name the Bible bears, the book of the seven seals. Right? Now I'm saying that by revelation, by the spirit of revelation. We find that in all periods of the Old Testament, in the time of the patriarchs, kings and prophets, great miracles were done. So do we as Rastafari, do we admit that there are miracles and that miracles are possible and probable? Well, according to the king of kings, yes. According to uh, ism or schism, you're going to get lost. So come out, you know what I'm saying? Come out of Babylon, come out of that religious confusion. Great miracles were done. On the other hand, the time in which our Lord himself, Adonenu Getachin Egzienne himself, Rasu, gave the command. He gave a what? He gave a command. He, does the command mean, well, if you like to do it, just do it if you get the time or something like that? No, 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 no. Envy, refusal. No, he gave a command. You know what I'm saying? So it's not enough to say, yeah, I'm Rasta, I'm Rasta, far Rasta, such and such, but you do your own thing. You're going to be cut off. You understand, the, the word must go forward in love, in grace. You understand, this is not I and I teaching, this is a teaching of his majesty. You understand, and if you have a love of the truth, you'll be able to receive it and know it for yourself and build on a solid foundation and not on sinking, sinking sand. All right? So check what you're thinking, you always, and, and prune your words. So our Lord himself, he gave the command to go into all the world. Go where? Go into all the world. Just around the block? No, go into all the world. Now, look, we have media where we can, you know, <laughs> go into all the world. You know what I'm saying? Go all to the world and to do what? Preach. Now, someone say, I not, I not did a preach. I got preaching, preaching. Anyway, eh, whatever. You know what I mean? Just hush that nonsense there. Preaching means you proclaim something. When we say that his majesty is king of kings, you understand? His majesty is the elect of God. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. We are preaching something. We are proclaiming something. This is what it means. So we are in his command to go into all the world and to preach is also of high value. What kind of value? Does it have a little bit of value? No, it's of high value. You understand? So while you're getting high and all that, uh, do you recognize what truly is of high value? You understand? This is of high value. 
Because some will say, yeah, well, you know, I can preach and everything like that. But we have to do real stuff. Are you an idiot? You're a fool? You're saying real stuff? Are you admitting in the King of Kings in spirit and in truth? Or you're just going along for a style. You like how it feels to be like a Rasta and smoke a little bit of herb and stuff. Now, people will say, why are you being that way? Because the time is later than you think. What are you thinking? Check what you're thinking. Does it agree with his majesty or not? He goes on to say, then, then, Matthew, Mateus, Mark, Marcos, Luke, Lucas, and John, Johannes, the four Gospels in which the sayings of our Lord, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, are recorded are pillars. What are, what, are, what are they? They're pillars. What is a pillar? You know what a pillar is? They're like foundation. You understand this fourfold foundation for all men on the earth. Does it say just for a black man? Does it say for a white man? Does it say for... Um, um, Asian man or um, maybe Hispanic man or who is it saying? For all man, for all man on the earth. Therefore, the Bible, Silizzi, ergo, the Bible should not be cut into portions. Then Dr. Hoffman, continuing on this line of reasoning, Dr. Hoffman says, as a mature Christian, no, no, that's what he said. He didn't say as a Christian. He said as a mature Christian. Now, the, the, the subject matter of maturity is very important. Because when you're born again, you're born again as a what? As a what? As a child. But some folks, they've been born again, or they, 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 they turn rasta and them big. But you're here, they'll be like, yeah, me, I've always been this way. That's your problem. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the problem right here for yourself and for everyone else. You know what I'm saying? As a mature Christian. As a mature Christ man, all right, have you a special word for young people of these days, of these days, these last days and time? Is there a special word for young people, for the young people? You understand the young people of these days? Because they have it especially rough. And like many of us know that the former generations basically did their own thing, went down into Egypt and civil rights, affirmative action, 40 years later, are things better? Haile Selassie I says, On this occasion, I address all those within our empire. They said, wherever water touches land, you'll find Ethiopians there. All those within our empire. Our Christianity... Our Christina, our anointing is not restricted to a given church. So it's not the EOTC in particular that is restricted to as some careless Ethiopians, you know, at home and abroad. That's not just the native ones. Many out here who said, yes, I and I are Ethiopian. Well, you've been careless too, just like those over there. You understand at home, the two families of the Lord, prophetic scripture, we can get into it. But he says, our Christianity is not restricted to a given church. Not a given church. It's not restricted to a, a little denomination or sect of Christian. It's not restricted to a given church. And I stress, his majesty stress, above all, that we do not wish to make distinctions. You know, what do you think about the Jehovah Witness? I think they might have some things true. I know they have some things true. Well, what do you think about the uh, Seventh-day Adventists? Well, uh, they also might have some things. Oh, what do you think about the such <laughs> Let's not make distinctions. Let's see, when we, when we deal with the foundation, the B-I-B-L-E, you know, and we receive the Holy Spirit, then we can, our eyes, spiritual eyes can discern. Our spiritual ears can discern. Our spiritual sense of smell can discern. Our spiritual sense of taste can discern. Our spiritual sense of touch can discern. All right? He says, my advice to all is to fulfill the Ten Commandments. But some say, you can't fulfill the Ten Commandments. Oh, yes, you can if you are born again. Yes, you can. You, you know what I mean? Yes, you can. Yes, we can. In Chalalen, you are aware of the contents of the Ten Commandments and can elaborate on it. Well, give thanks and praise. Give thanks, Father. We are going to elaborate on it, and we all need to elaborate 
on it. If the nation for if the nation for which I am the emperor, Negusa Negest, follows and accepts this, follow it and accepts this, since it is also what I accept and follow. Notice what the king king said. Negusa Negest said, "This is what I and I accept and follow." So now listen carefully to the message going out there that purports itself to be in Haile Selassie, the first name, that purports itself to be in Rastafari name. Does it agree with the teachings or not? If it doesn't agree with the word, sound, and power of Haile Selassie, then you must ask, where did you get this from? The house has to be in order. Overstand this. So he says, this is what I accept and follow. I would believe or I would admit and trust our country, speaking of Ethiopia, is not only historically Christian, Christian, but also actively Christian, but actively Christian. So it's not enough for it to say, yes, um, Christianity, Africa, Ethiopia, and, and boast on that if we are not acting in a way of Christ. In fact, this is... This is connected with it. We want to touch on a vid and some of the brothers and sisters out there that perhaps can get a little motion on this if, if you are, you know, media, media able. Um, what's going on with our brother and sister Christians, the cops, the Coptic Christians, the persecution they're under? We want to put a message to the Ethiopians, Christians, and to the church in particular. This is the time and opportunity to offer um, asylum or refuge to those brothers and sisters in Christ. You understand? These are the kind of real so-called good Samaritan acts. You understand that heaven smiles upon. Why you all caught up about politics and stuff? You're not focusing on being actively Christian. You're like, well, well you, you know, you're separating yourself. You're making distinctions in the different denominations, whatever like that, instead of sticking to the testimony of Christ and following that command, or you're dealing with a certain building, you know, instead of the faithful fulfillment. You know, his, um, his Majesty um, concludes, well, this is not concluded right here, you know, saying, but he goes on, but I think we're going to pause for the cause, you understand, um, Pause for the cause right there, and this is in this particular book. Just to give you, uh, uh, you know, a clarity of this right here. The gospel, you understand, the, the 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 good news of him, the gospel of him, or we call it go him. You understand? Because he said to go. You understand? Go and preach and proclaim the gospel. In fact, let's actually get into detail. As as you said, we can elaborate on it. Well, thank you, Father. We will elaborate on it. Let's elaborate on this. Shall we elaborate on it? You understand? Shall we go into a little more details? Now, we're going to touch on Ephesians from the first part. Keep that in mind, Ephesians, when we speak about the key of the knowledge, the da'at, the knowledge of the Bain Ha Elohim, the, the son of the living God, our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua Ha Moshiach. But first, let's go to... Uh, Matthew, Mateos Wengel, Matthew's good news, Matthew's gospel. We're going to once again touch on Yeshua, Jesus in um, Galila or Galilee and the Great Commission. And it says, Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Yeshua or Jesus or Jesus, if you please, had appointed them. So a particular mountain does not name which mountain this was. This was. Some think it could have been um, one of the mountains of Hermon, you know, the, the Hermon Mountain, and one of them is, is Siwon or Sewon, the S-I-O-N, not the Z-I-O-N. That's, that's the point right there as well. Verse 17, it says, And when they saw him, when they saw Yeshua, they worshipped him, or they prostrated. They prostrated, which in, some say in the East, this was a custom of reverence. You understand know prostration, but in translation it has worship. There's many different words that are translated in English as worship. You understand, know but it's important to study and show ourselves approved. Otherwise, confusion is very easy. You know, it says the devil is in the detail. The devil, you understand, know recognizing the details confuse people. So this form of worship 
was prostration. It was not liturgy. It was not kadase. It was prostration. It, it's like bowing, in other words. Now, some say, well, I don't bow to nobody. That's your problem. I mean, you don't admit it, but yes, you do. You know what I'm saying? Um, it says, but some doubt it. Some doubted. Now, this is key. They all prostrated or they worshipped him, but some doubted. I want you to keep, doubt is the opposite of the amen. Doubt is the opposite of the true nature of our Lord and Savior. You understand? Doubt is the opposite of our newborn nature, too. You understand? And that's what you have to overcome, that doubt. And we overcome that doubt by the knowledge of the Son of God and the practice. He says, practice makes perfect. He says, be ye perfect. People say, well, nobody's perfect. That's because you're not practicing and you're believing the devil. You're having faith in what the devil says, but you're doubting, you understand, that we are to be perfect in his sight according to his way, truth, and life. Verse 18 says, And Yeshua came and spake to them, saying, All power, all power, how much? This was some of the power. It was over in Jerusalem, but not over in New York. You understand? Or it's over in Ethiopia, but it's not down south. Or it's, it's over in, in the Middle East, but it's not in the Caribbean. You know, no, it's all power. All. Can you say all? You know how much all is? All is what? All. Good. All power is given to me. And who's the me speaking? Yeshua, right? So all power is given to me in heaven and earth. Some folks think like, oh, the devil's really taking over. He's, he's fighting against uh, Jesus and Christ. No, he's fighting against you and your ignorance. You understand? Because you're not able to stand up or don't have faith in what you might know. You understand? But you have more faith in the adversary than in the Savior. You see, so that's, that's a matter of prayer, study, meditation. You know what I'm saying? Getting your mind right. You know what I'm saying? In the righteous alignment with receiving that word. You know what I'm saying? With receiving that word. Verse 19 says, Go ye therefore. That's the go. There's the go right there. Go ye therefore. That's the command. Go. Go is not, uh, if you feel like it, uh, make some time and just, uh, you know, you get to pass around. No, go. <laughs> go ye therefore. See, some people say, why are you, why you, why you, why you preaching like that? Because folks don't get it. Sometimes I and I don't even get it, I and I self. And you have to keep going over that word and meditating it. Because we've heard lies so much that we believe a lie. Like a lie often said becomes like, you know, becomes like the truth if it's keep, if it's keep repeated. So we live in this world of sin and corruption, and we actually, in a sense, have faith that, yeah, well, nothing, it, uh, it's the same. I think said to some brethren, bro, bro, what's up? Oh, it's the same old, same old. And that's something I hate. Oh, same old, same old. Oh, nothing new, nothing changed. It's the same old, same old. It's like where, I think it's Peter's gospel where it says that, and they say all goes on as it has since the fathers went to sleep. You know what I'm saying? It all goes on as it, and they say that's foolish right there. That's, a, that's, a, that's the doubt. Um, uh, Sirach, Sirach, yeah, Sirach says in Sirach, in the book of Sirach, one of the apocryphal books, it says that doubt is the daughter of Satan, doubt is the daughter of the devil. It's kind of interesting in a sense because I would say to some of my brothers and, you know, and I just share this, excuse me, if this is, if this is words you never heard before, I would say, why are you effing with the devil's daughter? Well, what you mean? Yeah, and they might think, oh, with the woman they're with. No, no, I'm not talking about the physical no, uh, woman. I'm talking, why are you effing with the devil? In other words, why are you sinning with the devil's daughter? Who is the devil's daughter? Doubt. Instead of faith. Why? You understand? So he says to them, go ye therefore. See, therefore is, is the key. I heard a preacher preach it. He said, whenever you find therefore in the scripture, you should go over the text again and find out why the therefore was put therefore. Did you hear? Whenever you come across therefore, because what happens that we read these things, but we really don't get it. We like kind of read through it. Like, all power is given to me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations about and, and nothing's catching. You know, but it's some BS news or whatever, and you're reading the newspaper, you're reading every word and, and reading it again and reading it another way, and like, okay, yeah. And, and this, this has no really measure on your real life. It's not of high value. This is of high value. All power, all authority is given to Yeshua, is given to me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore. Therefore, go because all power is given. 
and we're taking back, you understand, the kingdom. You understand, fulfilling revelation, all the kingdoms have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ. You over. So we say, well, when is God going to do it? And John's saying, when are you going to get it? When are, when are you, you know, we think that this is going on because there's some time down the line when it's going to, like, click on the clock and cool, 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 cool. No. <laughs> In other words, Satan, the devil, the evil, are using the advantage of your doubt and your ignorance against you. You understand? Basically, they, you expect them to tell you. You understand? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Do what? Teach all nations. You mean like all black nations? Teach all nations. Baptizing them in the name, does it say names? No, it says in the name of the Father, Ab, of the Son, Wallet, where Wallet, and of the Memphis Caduce, the Holy Spirit. You see that word ghost right there? You got to strike that ghost out. Put spirit in there. No such thing. That's, that's a big error with King James and everything like that. Gets people into this Casper, the friendly ghost kind of thing. You know, the nonsense thought. You see ghosts there. What ghosts you know about? Ghosts in the movie, the ghosts in TV and stuff like that. Now, that, is, that is like blasphemy in a sense, that ghost rate fee. And I still hear preachers who, who be studying and looking into the Bible and all. They're still saying that out of tradition out of tradition. That's why God says that it's your tradition has made void the word of God. Well, we do this out of tradition. But, we, but, but wait, all power was not given to your tradition. Well, our church preached this. Okay, let me say this again. All power wasn't given to your church. I know that offends some of you, all right, because you'll worship the church that you're in more than you worship Yeshua. You hold the church you're in of higher value of the denomination than Yeshua, than the living word and spirit and in truth. And that's your problem, too. You understand? No, open rebuke is better than secret love. Open affection, you know, um, you know open correction is better than secret affection. You know, verse, verse 20, to complete this chapter, it says, teaching them, what, what we're supposed to be doing? Teaching them. To observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. So he's saying whatever things he has commanded them, and he has commanded in his the one girl in the good news, this is what we must learn and this is what we must teach. So everything that is not like that or doesn't connect with that has to be thrown in the garbage. You understand? It has to be thrown out. You understand? It's part of the dead weight. They say weight is a what? Weight is a heavy load. You know, since the ones are carrying dead weight of tradition and customs, and this is how I was taught. You were taught this who? By my, by my ancestors. Did your ancestors have all power in heaven and earth? Okay. So you recognize teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, look and see, I am with you always. This is the part that really, really I think, gets me. But you hear folks say, I can't wait till Jesus come back. But wait, but then I just read, this is the red letter Bible. Do you see? It's, it's, it's red letter right there. It's the red letter Bible. Can you, can you really see that? You need some light? Let's put some light on it. It's the red letter Bible right there, right? They said the red letter is Christ's words. It's, it's the Lord speaking, right? Well, that being so, right, this is his word. He says, I am with you always. Well, how long is always? Well, you know, how long is it? They said, well, he ascended up into heaven and went, but he says he's with us. How long? Always, and goes on, even 